got a question about shoes. Do you know what? Can you do your favourite shoes? I've done this a few times. Probably the good old rounder. Brooks Green Silence 8 mil, 8 mil heel drop, meaning from the back to the front, there's 8 mil drop. This is a good shoe. I've really enjoyed this. My 5K PRs in these shoes, half marathon. Uh, run marathons in them as well, but I don't think I'll run a marathon in them again because I've got the Outress. This is, this is called the Power Dime. Zero drop. But it's got about a 30, I think it's about 34 mil stack height, so a lot of cushioning, a lot of cushioning, really. It's a reasonably light shoe for how much cushioning it's got. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm, I don't do much running. I'm a something of a cyclist, that's my base. But these outer shoes, I've got my mouth on time. On average, about uh, 10 miles a week average training I do year round. Uh, did a PA last year, 248 marathon. I actually ran in the Ultra Olympus, which is the trail shoe, heavier. I still run a 248 PR in the marathon. That's got about, I think, a 36 mil stack height. So if you want more cushioning than the Paradigm, in my opinion, the Olympus is a better shoe for that, better for trails and stuff like that. Paradigm is going to be still going to be a great shoe. I would just say get two, two of them. Get a pair of Paradigms, get a pair of Olympus and see what you prefer. But definitely the more cushioning in your legs over longer distances, you're gonna be faster. It's just a given. Same in 24-hour mountain bike racing. We used to, you know, have 26-inch wheels, hard tails, <laughs> and then it became dual suspension, disc brakes, less hand fatigue, less getting around. And then 29 is coming out, and it's 29 hard tail, now it's 29 dual suspension. It's just like riding a 29er around a 24-hour race course. It's just like it's almost not a challenge anymore. From back in the day when it was like hard tail Cannondales in the late 90s, early 2000s. That little little small head shock on the front. So it's incredible that more cushioning you have in your legs, that you can further you can go. It's just like so the hocker shoes are sort of an instigator of that. But the hockers, I don't like the hockers because the hockers have got the fashion shoe narrow toe box. Let's make it narrow like a no no no. You want to have wideness. So that's another thing I love about the outro is your feet can spread. It's like a vibrant five finger, but better. Get more protection. You can spread your foot and just fucking launch it. And have a really good stroke uh, foot placement. Also, I definitely rate their outros. For me, it's the best shoe company in the market at the moment. Fantastic. Um, I just really, really rate them. Definitely. In Australia, they're hard to get. Very hard to get. The Australian distributor, pretty lazy, uh, having such a great product. But it's, I see it in maybe I've seen it in one store in Australia, and in a very limited range. He's like, we can we can get them in, and the was like. Order a shoe in, or I don't know what, what, what do I get? That's just, I've worked in the foot industry. You can't order shoes. You've got to have fucking stock on the fucking shelf and go, look, try this on. Next size, whatever. You can't order fucking like, who the fuck is, what do you, like, you order shoes? You buy them online and get them fucking half price if you're going to order shoes off the internet. But so it's very hard to get in Australia, unfortunately. But if in the US, ouchers, man, look them up, especially the girls. Uh, if you want to be taller, inch and a half taller, go up. So definitely, but a great shoe, man, great shoe. I wish uh, this becomes a new fashion because it's such a functional product. But uh, that's it, yeah, so I've got the Ouchers, my, my favourites, and the Brooks Green Silence as sort of like an everyday uh, walking around shoe. Fantastic recycle materials as well. And you can see that I split them because now my feet have got so much wider since using Vibe and Five Fingers for the last five years. My shoe size has gone from a 10 to 11 and a half in the same model from wearing barefoot shoes, vibe and five fingers, just from walking around in. So you, there's, um, definitely spread your toes, have better foot placement, you can get fitter. A lot of people go, I don't get bigger feet, I don't get big feet. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? You wanna get fitter? Do you wanna look fitter? Or you wanna have a sloppy body? Good feet is a good foundation for everything. So you wanna have, embrace the space, spread your feet, get a fit body, tight. You want to be tight or sloppy, then good wear, good footwear. Sloppy footwear is a sloppy body, simple as that.